kids are talking to. I'm Nick Huffman, a senior at Apollo Career Center. What you just saw was a portrayal of occurrences that happen hundreds of times times each year as a result of social networking. Here today to help us understand and avoid the dangers associated with social networking is Patrolman Rob Cola. Patrolman Cola is head of the Computer Crime Child Internet Protection Unit for Shawnee Township Police Department. He is responsible for dozens of arrests of internet predators. Patrolman Cola, my friends and I are all big fans of social networking sites. These sites offer us a great way to keep in touch with friends and family all over the world. However, as we just saw from the video, there are also dangers associated with these sites. Would you please help us understand how a predator can evade some of the social networking sites without them knowing it? There are several ways that somebody can, uh, can infiltrate or appear as a friend online when they're not actually the person they say they are. It's something that I do when I do my internet stings. Most people think I'm a 14-year-old girl. As they communicate with me, I portray myself as that. The other thing is, is that they can do a thing called phishing, and phishing's a way that they can obtain your password without you knowing it. Um, there are also ways that they can just look at your profile and see your profile and determine that this person is this years of age, lives in this geographic location, and then using other resources on the internet can find even that much more stuff about you. What can be done to make sure this doesn't happen? Um, basically, the safeguards that you can put in place are when you're on the computer, don't do anything on the computer that you wouldn't do in front of friends, family, um, limit the information that you put out there. And in order to be sure of who you're talking to, real simple questions can be put out there that you know between a friend on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, limit the information that you put on your internet site. Anything that's not pertinent should not be put out there. Um, the more information that a predator has, the more opportunity that he has to to obtain information in order to uh, to possibly harm you. Also, uh, common day-to-day -day activities that you have with somebody, use those as kind of a quiz, if you will, to make sure that the person that you're talking to online is the person that you're talking Never share your passwords, um, and never talk to strangers. Just that you wouldn't talk to somebody a stranger on the street. You need to treat that the same way as somebody on the internet. Thank you for coming and doing this interview. You've given us a lot of valuable information. Thanks for having. Me.